Hello, so here we are on the outskirts of Mosley, uh, Saddleworth over there that you can hopefully see. And I've come out here to do some work on my little Constantina that I started in a previous video, so I've got some background on it. And what I'm particularly interested in are these interesting edges, which are part wall, they're like the margins really of fields, part wall, part seed heads and all of the wildflowers that are growing. So they're quite wild and unkempt areas really, but I find them really interesting. So I'm walking up this track, which is, as I say, on the outskirts of Mosley. And what's interesting about this is that when we get further up, you will see that there's some, and I just showed you at the beginning, some spectacular views to the right over to all of the moors. And what's also interesting is that these edges are variable and change and the levels change and there are interesting gates and wires and plants and so they are really, this is really a nice interesting area for me to do work on my Constantina which I'll show you how I'm doing in a minute but I just wanted to take you on a little walk up here so it's got a bit more interesting now I'm a bit further up the path away from the properties so you can see more how this fascinating edge is and the different levels from left to right and then obviously the beautiful moors and valleys to that side so I just thought I'd do a little bit more to share with you where I'm at these are great puddles useful if you forget your water and you've got an empty pot with you so So I'm back at the desk now uh, with the Constantina with a few pages done um, uh, outside and or worked over outside I should say. I just thought I'd just go through very briefly the sorts of uh, materials I was using out there over the 
um, pre-worked book. So um, I was using this art graft, which is like a compressed graphite, uh, which you can use and wet, and then it sort of sets quite nicely, so that's quite a useful thing to use. Um, willow charcoal and compressed charcoal. The compressed charcoal, again, is water-soluble, and once it's dry, you can fix it and set it and so on. And the willow charcoal is obviously much finer and, and easy, um, you know, sort of nice for finer lines. So those are those. And then I have used a couple of the Stabilo woody pencils, uh, which again are soluble and I really like those and they have some really lovely colours. These are just a couple of the ones that I've started to use. <clears throat> and then the lovely uh, Ink Tense uh, watercolour pencils, um, which are nice to use for finer lines. So just, just as a sort of a intro really, those are the, the sorts of things I've been using over them. And then here's the... I always use a couple of elastic bands very handy out there to um, to sort of hold the pages in place. So I'll get these oh, this book opened on the three double pages. So I, I worked on each um, each sort of double page piece at a time. Um, just to say these books do tear, so I use sellotape over the back just to reinforce them and support them. So I've kind of got three pairs, if you like. And as you can see, they look very busy and very messy, which was totally expected because I knew that they had a busy background to start with. So what I'm going to just do here is I'm going to sort of simplify them a little bit just using some white. Um, and in fact, this page here, this double sheet here, before I went out, I actually added some white uh, acrylic paint just to simplify it a little bit. But I'm just going to work over them now just to sort of simplify and sort of tidy up really. They're very sort of murky and messy. So what I thought I'd do is I'd try using a couple of different things. Some white acrylic paint, and this is titanium white, so it is quite opaque, but it's not as opaque as gesso. So I thought I'd use some titanium white where I might want a little bit of things coming through, and then I might use some gesso where I want to just kind of block out completely. Um, so on this piece here, um, I suppose for me, I kind of don't like all of the lines that I've incorporated and I also don't like some of the murkiness of the background to start with. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use the gesso and I'm just going to just block out the bits I don't like. So already by masking you kind of get more clarity to the things that are remaining. So I'm kind of funny over this sort of thing really because some things, some of the background things I do like, so I quite like this ink sort of splurgy here, but when it comes to this I really don't like that at all, that kind of messiness. So I'm going to just go there and I'm going to go into the next page as well where that messiness is and just take some of that out. And although it's just so, you can still see some of the things through. Um, and I'm just going to tidy up around. So I'm not necessarily going to take out a load. I mean, it might change on each page, really. Um, and just be aware that you will find that on the soluble things, you might start getting some murkiness if you kind of start doing that. So I'm just sort of going through and simplifying and try not to overthink it too much because otherwise it just gets too tight and fiddly. Um, just see how things are. I quite like that and I quite like just to take that down there so I might just do that. Um, I quite like this sort of messiness here so I'm just being selective over what sort of messiness I will break through and I quite just sort of tidying some things up. Some things will work, some things won't. And bear in mind that this is just a, overall, I'm just trying to get the impressions and feelings of not exactly the hedgerow, but the edges and margins. Because up here, we don't really have hedgerows because there's not a lot of hedges. There are some, but there's a lot of walling. Um, and I might, at the moment, just leave that one like that because I do quite like um, this sort of um, messiness here. Um, but at least by taking out... Um, that bit there, I've clarified some things um, and I might come back to it and I might not. So that's that one. And then this second one here, 
um, because I'd already um, done some things to it it's not actually too bad um, in a sense it's not as busy maybe as the as the as the first one I'm carrying on with the gesso but I might actually now because I quite like it when you can read through it so here where I did it before I went out you can still see some of the spots and I quite like that so I'm going to go over now to using the white acrylic paint um, far too thick but it will dry so it's not not the end of the world I quite although these are quite nice in some respects I kind of think I want some space because I've got lots of these pencil-y finer lines here so I don't necessarily want a load I kind of want the breathable white space there and on this one I use the green because of the field green um, which I may do something about or I may kind of keep as is um, I don't kind of mind it um, and this one here, I move it along now, so you can just see. Um, I've only worked over until there. So, I mean, I quite, this the, the repeat of these are quite like, but on, on this one, I'll fold it so you don't get kind of too, well, I need to kind of end point is at the moment. Um, and, you can see that. I quite like some of this, but some of it's just getting in the way of being able to see the finer detail. And similarly here, this is a bit of a pain because all of this behind, okay, you, I, I quite like some overlayering because you get a sense of the depth. But you also, in some occasions, it just kind of gets in the way of you reading things. So I might actually take some of it away and leave some of it in place. Um... And I'm, I'm, I'm purposely using this old bristle brush, actually, because I don't want to start getting too fiddly. And it doesn't let me get too fiddly. It makes me be messy because the bristles, as you can see, are all over the shop. And it's all a bit Heath Robinson in that respect. So I kind of quite... I don't mind that. Because... It's infuriating to a point until you realise it's actually giving you some nicer effects than if you'd been more fiddly, if that makes sense. So I do quite like that. Um, anyway, I think you can see, I don't want to sort of go on too far with this. I think you can see the way I'm going through these and simplifying now. Um, and so hopefully you've got an impression of how I work with these things. It depends on the weather. At the moment, it's really cold and murky out there. So I'm out there for brief periods of time. I keep the materials very simple. Um, and then uh, I come back and I may uh, limit, um, you know, sort of uh, chop into them a little bit and uh, do some sort of editing, uh, for want of a better phrase. So thanks very much for watching. I think this is probably going to be my last one of 2020 and what a year it's been. So thanks very much again. And please do like and subscribe if you're interested in my videos and uh, have a great Christmas. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.